Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on how to set up the watch on app on your Galaxy Tab 3. So this is going to be the same for all three Galaxy Tabs, uh, so the 7.0, 8.0, and 10.1. So when we go to our watch on app, uh, it will load for the first time. And what you're gonna do here is set up your remote control for your cable box, uh, satellite, um, and TV. I'm also gonna kind of show you, um, whoop, can't detect my country. Yeah, I should turn GPS on if for some reason it's not working. So if you get this error message, you might need to turn GPS on if for some reason it can't detect your location. But it did this time. So um, it's going to kind of give you a basic walkthrough of how you're going to do it. And now we're going to do that now. So the first thing it's going to ask you is where is your zip code? I'm going to type in mine. And then it's going to tell you, OK, this is the TV available in your area. So uh, basically, these are the different ways to get TV in my area and it does usually have pretty much every single one. Now, it's important to note, if you do not have a top box, you do have a section right here, which is just over the air TV. So, I am part of, let me see if I can flip this around so I can see. I'm not really sure what the difference is between these two, but I'm gonna go with that one and then hit next. And now, um, I can set up my TV guide, which basically is just basically uh, going to set up my TV. Mine is a Samsung. So you find your TV here. If uh, you can't find it, I mean, it's really surprising because it has like every single brand. It has all the popular ones first right here at the top, and then it goes all the way down. <laughs> I think they didn't pick LG on purpose as one of the popular ones. But then you go next, and then you point this at your TV. You hit the uh, turn on your TV button right here. And if it works, um, you hit next. If it doesn't, you hit retry, um, basically until um, the correct model of your TV is found. I know this is the first one. Mine is a newer Samsung, so I know it's the right one. So I'm going to hit next, and basically this would turn on my TV then. Uh, so then you're going to see what is your set top box. So this is the box that your cable or satellite TV company gives you. Mine is Motorola, so I'm just going to go down right here and go to the Motorola section. And that is my cable box. And again, I know mine is a newer one, so the first one will work with it. And I'm gonna hit next because of that. If not, remember there is 12 models of this kind, so there's a lot of different ones. So then it's selected, then we can confirm it. And then this is your layout. Um, important to note, you can customize this uh, more to your liking. So first it gives you, you know, what's on now, what's upcoming. On this side you have movies and TV shows. Um, they're both different sections, so let's stick to this first and then I'll go over the next section. So then you have favorites. So you can actually um, highlight favorites when you have certain channels or, um, or even shows. So if I like Monk, I can hit this star and then it becomes a favorite of mine. Um, so it's just uh, perfect on how you do it. Uh, it also will tell you if the video is on demand so you can just watch it now instead of having to wait uh, for it just to come on uh, again later. The guide uh, will, again, be to your guide on your TV, so you can actually go uh, really easily to um, another time frame, which I really do like. And you can hit all, or the nice part I like, I only like to watch HD channels, so I can actually select it to be only HD, uh, which is just a really nice uh, setting to have uh, with this. So I really like it. Um, Another thing we can do right here is timeline. Timeline is just kind of a different way of looking at the guide, uh, basically to see uh, different shows that uh, are basically that are to your liking and what you might like, uh, kind of like the top shows out. And then there's genres. 
which you can just kind of divide it by like animation, business, comedy, and uh, do it that way. So there's lots of ways to uh, divide this up. You also have right here at the top right, which is your controller. So this is your main selection right here. Um, and very easy for your satellite uh, top box and your TV. You can dial right here. And also if you hit this bottom button right here, you can see the other part of your controller, um, which is just uh, really simplistic. If you hit the menu button right here, oops, let me back out of this. If you hit the menu button right here, you can go to settings. And from here you can do a couple of things. You can set up the uh, pattern, uh, sorry, parental controls. Uh, you can uh, do your channel list, make sure it is correct. Uh, remote setup, so this is where you can uh, do the preferred, uh, which device controls what. Um, so kind of make it that way, as well as um, devices, uh, other devices that are used with this. So um, this is pretty simplistic, uh, very simple and easy to use. And on this side, we just kind of have uh, movies that basically you can see if they're on your TV or you can actually see if they're somewhere else. So uh, typically, this looks like an older version of Watch On because typically if it's not available, it will tell you, you know, you can buy it from the Samsung Hub or um, you can buy it or you can see it on Netflix or something like that. So, or here it is. There you go. So if it's not on right now, you can see it on the Media Hub. So yeah, uh, this is just kind of a brief uh, overview on how to use this device. Um, if you have any questions on the Watch On app, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.